think yeah. that's, I'm just wondering if that's a like a Chinese kind of uh, forest Some, type style. I don't know. Uh -huh. Sometimes they do. Yeah. I mean, I like, I kind of like how it defines the top. Stylistically, I like how it defines the top. So, beautiful piece, wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Okay, uh, let's see. Lynn. Okay. Here we are, Lynn. Lynn. Hi, Rob. I, I continue to work on it, so it's a little different now, but. Oh, did I look at this earlier? No. I, I did, right? No. No. I didn't look because at this did. earlier. Okay. Well, and I did. I don't know. I should. I should send you another one real quickly. It's a little different. But here, I'll do that. What are you talking about? What did you, you say? I'm sending you another picture. Oh, everybody's sending me more pictures. Okay, I got to move on. I got to move on to somebody else every time you guys do that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go to Toby. Okay, move. All right, now I can see your picture. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> really great. I love, I love, uh, there's your theme. You know, you're getting a little more, um, you, you know, you're, 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 I hate to call it dots, but you know, your, your kind of theme that you do yeah. usually with the sort of dots. I hate to, I don't know what I'll call them Toby dots. <laughs> dots is um, <that's> good. <laughs> um, if you'll notice when you work them into wet and wet, you're still getting the dot, but you're also getting, it's uh, blending into the piece a little bit more. I, mean, I really like that look. Do you? Yeah, I know. I thought this was a fun exercise. I did it with that style in mind. Just, I know it's not your, you know, yeah. uh, traditional Chinese painting. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're experimenting. We can use elements of traditional painting in with, uh, with our own and, and combine them. So that's the whole idea. I mean, it wasn't really a study in Chinese painting. Although we're, we're, it's just the subject matter we're painting and then it, it, it turns out it's, uh, you know, just painting those mountains in any technique, it's gonna look like Chinese painting. Right. They're so, uh, they're the most individual looking mountains I've ever seen. I've, uh, there's nothing else like them. Yeah. They just shoot straight up like that, and unreal. But anyway, if, if, if you have an area, let's say like, like this, right up in here, right up in here. Mm -hmm. And let, let's say, for instance, you wanted to gather up that area because sometimes, you know, I, I, I use the word falling apart, but, um, or if it looks a little scattered, uh -huh. what I'll do is I'll put a harmonizing glaze over that wet into wet and just bring it down um, to bring it together. That looks great. Yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah. Something Good. like that. And yeah. I'll look for little scattered areas, you know, maybe a little bit in here, maybe a little in here. And I'll put them in it now. I'll usually wet the whole area first. Like for instance, I wouldn't wet it back here though, because it might, it might go back there and get out of control. So I would just like wet this area, like right in here for instance mm -hmm. and then i would throw it down there and you'll get you'll get um an even spread of the paint rather than it just stopping and starting like that's what it does when when you work on something dry you get this area you get this look mm -hmm. so we want it possibly to look more like this more wet into wet so i would wet the area with a little water first and then come over with a harmonizing glaze to get that okay great sounds good that's how i do that other than that, I think you're looking great. Yeesh. Thanks. It was fun, fun to. I mean, I like how you didn't really overwork anything at all. <laughs> yeah, it was, you could say that. Painting. Sometimes it, it's just whatever you throw down and sometimes it works. 
Yeah, but you, I, I can just tell by the way you said that you you have an improvisation improvisation type attitude, you know, you know. In other words, it works when it works, and it doesn't when it doesn't, and I'm fine with that. Then you just move on. Yeah, you know? that's what you do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There's Henry and Shelley. Okay. I'll do Shelley first. Wow, small one, huh? Let's see. Clear all drawings. Uh, it's not that small. Oh, it's not that small. That's just a big stamp. It's a giant stamp. Wow, how'd you get a stamp that big? I don't know. My mom brought it to me from. Oh, oh. whoops, sorry. I don't know how I did I that. Um, now, where is that from? Is that, is that a, what language is that? Well, it's Chinese. The thing is that what we were supposed to do was she bought us these beautiful chops and we were oh. supposed to clear it off and have our name put on it, but I haven't had that part done yet. Looks so great. It might wow. say something. It might be profanity as far as I know. <laughs> we'll have to get Henry. I don't know yes. if he's... <laughs> the little chop is the one somebody made for me. Oh, nice. This is nice. Now, you're using a little bit of white in here, huh? No, no white. You're not using white? I can't even tell, really? Gosh. No you're not, that looks like you're using white. That's unbelievable. Wow. I was using your stamp it out with a paper towel technique. Oh, okay. And then the green is a nice little. A nice little coloration compliment. Yeah. Yeah. And the mist. You see how she just comes in and hits a little water once in a while in here and gets this mist feel. <laughs> Great. I would have loved for you to bring some of that mist over the hill right here. Maybe. Oh, that's a good idea. So it wasn't so defined yeah. the whole the whole time. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know. Besides that, it's nice. I think, Henry, aren't they called Karst Mountains? K-A-R-S-T? Karst? Um, yeah. Um, is it Karst? Karst, uh, Karst is the, the geometric uh, formation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, I think There's the... So, such beautiful shapes. Yeah, this, yeah. this mountain is more glacier formed, I think. Cascade uh, is more like a, uh, caves uh, with, uh, yeah, the names, name stones, what they call them. This is more like uh, the uh, glacier for formation. It's very hard, mm -hmm. like uh, granite, kind of. Is, is this in the north of China? No, it's uh, just uh, um, so uh, southeast. Um, oh, by, southeast. By the okay. Yangtze River. Yeah, it's only like uh, by train from my hometown, it's like a it used to be five hours by uh, bus, but now it's like one, one, uh, maybe two hours. I, I guess the most. So I, I was, I went there t uh, three times in the early seventies and early eighties, and the last time was uh, two thousand six with a student wow. from Italy. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. Is there a rainforest down below then? Rain, no, we don't have rainforest in China, I think. Oh, okay. It's too cold. Uh, it, it got snow uh -huh. in that area. Yeah. Wow, that, that would look cool too with the snow. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, okay. I mean, you know, this is just this, this thing's perfectly done. I, I don't need okay. anything. You guys got this technique down. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. It was really fun. Yeah, I, I love how understated this is too. You, you're really just throwing these down like, really? Like, look at this right here. Just one quick little, yeah. and you're out. I like this, the negative space that we call that pregnant voids or pregnant uh, emptiness. Ah, mm -hmm. I know. Have, have you heard My Miles Davis's uh, famous quote when he says, uh, my notes, are 
the no no the um my notes what is it something gives gives interest to the silence or something like that yeah that's you know, he's, he's more into hearing the silence in between the note than he is right that you know, like a poetry the space between words yeah yeah it's nice to see space this one has a lot of space in it yeah i i, I think uh, that's very good concepts I, like I, I really like the way you use the space in this one Shelley. thank you so much nice work uh, it, Japanese painting too, the emptiness is more important than the, the area that you yeah. painted. Yeah. yeah. It really gets you to start thinking about negative space. Really. Yeah, Japanese Zen painting uh, especially. Yeah. yeah. I think they, they have a preference for more emptiness than Chinese. Right. Oh. Yes. I think so. That's cool. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to. Uh, Study Seshu, uh, Seshu, oh, yeah? Seshu Toyo, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, really? Tomorrow at this time, if anybody interested in that, I will introduce. Uh, uh, he went to China, studied for two years. So he's very authentic. Um, he can paint very authentic Chinese, but he developed a uh, Zen style afterwards. Mm. Is that live on YouTube or what? Yeah, you will be live on YouTube tomorrow. So do we just go to your page and it's uh, live on there or what? Um, yeah, I'm on YouTube right now if you want to bookmark it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Henry, okay. If, you would put, if you would put the address in the chat, that would be Okay, helpful. I will do that. Right. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Let me see. I, I don't know how to type on iPad, though. Um, I think if, uh, if you just go to YouTube and search my name, Henry Lee, you should yeah. find it. Yeah. Henry, yeah, what Henry time, time will that be at? Yeah, it, it, he's on my he's on my channel too. So um, time is uh, 9.30 through um, 11.30. OK, 9.30 to 11.30. I want to check that out. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, the, tomorrow is my last lecture among, uh, in the series of 10. I'm focusing on Japanese. Uh, landscape painting. Wow. I'm going to check that out. Okay, Henry. Let's see. Beautiful. Wow, you really went for some color. <laughs> yeah, I tried to stay with the Western idea of a uh -huh. landscape painting. Yeah, nice color. Thank you. I love, I love these little flicks of color in the darks. That's one of my you know, I'm always talking about that anyway, right? Yeah, I learned from you. I you did that. Well, I love these these strokes of um, trees in the foreground. They almost feel like calligraphy. I mean, they do feel like calligraphy, but not almost. <laughs> so uh, earlier, when I was talking about on, on, when I was talking to some of you about the tree sort of silhouetting into into uh, the hill side. This is what I'm talking about, like this. So you don't get the trees sitting on top of, you know, like see how they just melt right into the hillside right there. So that's what I mean. Well, yeah, now you went the most colorful. When, when you would expect um, a person trained in, in, in uh, you know, Sumi landscape painting to be maybe more monochromatic, Henry chose to go the Western way and went more colorful. Interesting. You're always throwing me a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I come to your lesson. Oh, good. I, 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 I think my color gets more, um, uh, how to say, um, hammerized. Ham, 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 before I didn't know how the color works after taking uh -huh. the class. Uh, I'm more, uh, you know, advanced in color theory from your class. Oh, thank you. Well, it's encouraging to think about the stroke, the paint stroke. And that's the main thing I've learned from uh, studying Eastern painting. 
mm-hmm. is the mark, the mark and the stroke mark making as well. And, and of course, I, 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 I always have to think about um, the positive, the way I use positive and negative shapes uh, by Notan, I, I, I um, mm-hmm. Notan really got me thinking about that. Yeah, the uh, dark and light. Yeah, dark and light. Now, by the way, um, Mitsuko, which, which one's the dark? It, no, no. No. Oh, okay. No. no. So, yeah, yeah. Dark and light. No I time. Always forget which one's light and which one's dark. Dark and light. Okay. Dark and light. Okay. Yeah. So, no is the dark. Okay, so it's dark and light, not light and dark. Okay. Okay. So, great, yeah, great example of uh, dark and light here. Boom. And, and by the way, look at the spaces in between. Mm-hmm. And we call that uh, the chi, the, the breath, uh, or um, breath. White, vital energy. Uh, yeah. The movement yeah, of the I energy. Feel the rhythm, the rhythm, and the energy through this. Yeah. It's beautiful, Henry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Really beautiful. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, very nice. Henry, I posted the link on uh, for everybody on the chat. So, um, for Henry's channel. Oh, thank you. I I couldn't type when I when I talk. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know much. I just did a share when I did a search, so it worked just fine. So, anyways, there you go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I I I noticed the um, the cloud is whiter than the mist, right? So, um, I, oh. I yeah. in distance the cloud is white. In, when you in the cloud, it's it's mist, and mist oh. has no shape. So, um, when I when I paint Misty Mountain, I don't paint any shape. I, it's just in the trees and the rocks. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, that would be fun. And to then, do some mist. Yeah, then in the, in the distance, I try to um, give a form. And then uh, right, right. the, the, the white cause, like yeah. The, 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 in, the, in, the, in this case, the horizon is the whitest part of the cloud. You know, one time I, sp- I painted this swamp sitting where the, the, you know, those cypresses go into the swamp uh-huh. and there's all, there's this mist that sits about like three feet above the water. Oh and yeah, just, I, I, I did yeah, that oh, too. That is a lot of fun to paint. We, we yeah, that in the early morning, it's like a, this, a vaporing yeah. from the, the, the river. Yeah, that, that's, that's very That would be fun. Uh-huh. I, have ta- I have a picture, I have a picture taken up fr- by a friend. I have his permission. Actually, I did uh, one study. I will pass to you, and then you can do that next time. They, they did it uh, on a river in the morning in Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll send you that picture. Oh, I'd like to see that, yeah. Yeah. OK, thank you for sharing that. Thank and, you. Hey. Thank you for taking the suggestion for doing this uh, next yeah. step. It's a great suggestion. Thank yeah, you. it's a it's a good compliment to, to my own class. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Hector. Wow, I love your color right away. I just love that subtle, really subtle color. Now this is pretty big, huh? Or is Hector here? It's small. It's small, huh? Okay. Uh, it's about 10 by 12. Oh, small for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. What, I love it. I, I love this whole technique. I think everybody did beautiful work. I do too. I think we need to I do mean, some of the most creative, on. beautiful brush strokes that everybody has done. Just wonderful. So exciting to see and be the last one. Yeah. Yes, I got everybody's. Ah, <laughs> oh, so you got everybody's. Yeah. You're, no. not, you're not the last one. Oh, oh George, there you are. Oh, you're, well, you're I not still the here, Rob. <laughs> oh, I'm that? sorry. Oh. Okay. The guys are so quiet. Yeah. Hector, it looks really misty. Yeah. It's mysterious, no pun intended. 
Okay. You don't have Chinese blood, Hector? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think so. You know that uh, through the illusions down to Mexico, over from China and down, you know? You would need that Pound Express too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Very nice, very nice, but Thank you. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah, I, I, you, you got great. I mean, if you wanted to, some edges, maybe, possibly, you know, that's about it. I mean, you know, I, this is just stylistically uh, wonderful. I don't really have uh, much to say. If you wanted to capitalize on some edges, but you know, it's all coming down to where I've been. I used, and I have been. Uh, doing a lot of hard edges. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to go the other direction. Yeah. Softer edges. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Hector, well, this one's really that. soft. I really not like it. Thank you. And it has a nice feel, just a nice um, atmospheric feel yeah. throughout. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. I love this. this Talk about what, what uh, Henry said about uh, the breath. The best thing you've ever done. It feels like like the breath, you know, like like the breath on the cold day, misting over this hill right now. Perfect, beautiful edges. And that's yeah. You know, I've I, I've. I've been more speechless on this day than any day. I, what am I supposed to say over here? Great job. <laughs> Thanks. Do another one. <laughs> get, well, yourself a, up, get yourself a seal. Those get, other get two yourself paintings. one of these seals made by, uh, so, you, so you can make a, give it your own seal of approval with your name on it. But yeah, anyway, right. putting, your, putting your signature on here with the Henry made seal right here, I, I got to tell you, uh, it feels great to do it. But anyway, I loved your painting too, Rob. Yeah, I meant to tell you, it was Thanks. amazing from the start to the finish. Thank you. Um, you know, I want to start doing, uh, you know, it, it's actually um, pretty normal for artists to start off the painting wet into wet and then work toward their harder edges toward the end. So I think I'm going to start doing that more. So, you know. Okay, thank you for sharing that, uh, Hector. Very nice. Oh, you're welcome. And hey, George. Hey, hey. whoa. <laughs> Continuing with his, uh, you know, you know what, George? It it, it feels like illustration. Uh, yeah, probably maybe some of it would be. I mean, it's illustrative, or whatever. Illustrative. Illustrative. Sort of combining yesterday's exercise with today, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we did animals in our drawing class yesterday. We did dogs and cats. I don't see a horse though. Where's your horse? No, no. horse, man. Come on. I didn't have room for the horse. Oh. Um, is this you walking your dog? Yes. Yeah. I, I try to put that in every one. <laughs> With a funny hat. You gotta have a funny hat, yeah. yeah. This is fun, and, it, and I, I like the whimsy of it. I like how it breaks up the seriousness of the class, and and, and uh, it just feels so uninhibited and free. Which yeah. is, you know, naive. Well, I don't know about naive, but uh, there's. Is this pastel, George? No, it's watercolor. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's a dry brush. Hmm. Yeah, dry brushing back in here, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was trying to get the clouds and... Yeah. Uh, anyway. George is inspired by Miro. Right. For these little... The, the I like it. I like how it laces everything together into a story. Yeah. Just remember, everybody. I mean, painting comes from storytelling. I mean, uh, it, and it we're we're still doing it today. We're still telling stories with paintings, but it really 
look at the history of art and go back into all cultures. It doesn't matter what the culture is. Go way back and you'll find this. Usually the paintings are telling a story. So a lot of the things we have, like let's say a focal point in a painting, it's all comes from storytelling. Um, and uh, it, it, in fact, if you look at all arts, all of the arts, look at the, you know, think of a campfire with, you know, our tribal ancestors or whatever, um, and they're telling stories, right? And maybe they're in a cave and they've got stories on the wall in the background. They've got, I mean, they had theater, you know? It all comes from the same place. We're just, we're just doing the same thing that's been done for who knows how long. George, this is a children's book in the making. It, it is. really is. It is. You really, you know, you we should you should start talking about your adventures that your dog has. You should. And would be great illustrations for that. I mean, yes. you just know that the you know, kids would just love that to see um, that kind of art in a children's book is just great. They just George, you have to do it. You, you have yeah. a style. There you go, there. yes. <laughs> yeah. it's just I agree fabulous, totally. George. Fabulous, fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of Dr. Zeus, you'll be Dr. Sample. <laughs> <Sample. laughs> yeah. They'll make movies based on your, uh, your stories. <laughs> You have to add a Pekingese or Shizu, George. It's supposed yeah. to be. Oh, yeah, Chinese painting, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, no. I'm not blowing smoke, George. Really, really like it. Really like it. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Did we get Lynn's? Lynn's, where's yours? Who? You didn't do mine. Oh, I'm sorry. There we are. We, we passed you up there. Sorry. Oh, you're on your side. That's okay. I can't turn it in here, so I'll just. So it looks like you came into some of your top tops of your edges in here, huh? Yeah. All right. Let me see here. Well, wow, that feels like your your gradation. From light to dark here feels great. Um, and th this gradation from light to dark feels fantastic. And yeah, I like how you, now we're not getting a lot of recession though. Like this doesn't feel like it's in, I mean, it does feel a little bit like it's in front of these, but the key is to make this one darker and these a little bit lighter and these a little bit lighter and these a little bit lighter. Or whatever so um like like you are back here okay. so go in with a wand or something to make it yeah separate okay. well i see i see what you did here you you were, this, this, this. You were bringing in the um the haze there or the uh the mist oh thank you um i'm doing pretty well um oh, well. a lot less pain and, sorry about um, that Please turn off your, what do you call it? I'm not going to get this here. Feels like it's a lot better. I have to go in here and actually turn her off. Who is this? Okay. Um, I did it. Yeah, I, I felt I, a little I bit. I um, uh, no hearing, Monica. Monica has to be. Monica. You got to turn off your thing, Monica. That's it. Okay. Um, here we go. Screen share. Sorry about that. That's what I have to do if, if you don't mute yourself. So anyway, um, yeah, you know, I have 100% everything back here, I think is perfect. What I might do to bring some of this together in the foreground is a, a bit of a harmonizing glaze. Oops, over a bit of this, this stuff. Just to bring some of it together. Just maybe maybe link link a few of these together, and they're pretty black on the top. I might lighten up on that black. They don't all have to be really dark because they will detract from this area. So 
maybe just a little. I might come back in some of these darks and actually lighten them up. I know you probably went back and darkened them up, right? <laughs> I, th I think maybe I would come back and it's, it should be pretty easy to do actually. Um, to just moisten these a little bit and then really, really stamp them with the, uh, with the paper towel. I'll lighten those up. And a bit okay. of a harmonizing glaze to just if, if things feel like they're falling apart. All right, and that's about it. I mean, this is a nice looking piece. If you wanted to, you could try a little bit of white in here too, if, if you want. That might be another way to bring the, you know, I think that might be a way to bring that together. I like that. That might be the tree, the trick. Okay, so a little bit lighter. I'm thinking a little bit lighter in these trees, but please don't touch this mountain right here. I think you just mastered that mountain. That's gorgeous. All right. Okay, thanks, Rob. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try the white and stamping the trees. Yeah. So instead of smacking it, you'll stamp it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Looks good. I, I, I think that was a really great day. Um, and I'll get you right over that recording as soon as I get it. Thank you, Rob. This was Thank fantastic. You. Everybody was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great. Was really that was a really great day, you guys. I have to say uh, I'm impressed. So. Thank um, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any suggestion? Thanks for that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Next time? I don't know. Yes. I forgot the dates. Uh, yeah, because you said the 16th, the new class, the new session starts. Yeah. Okay. So the 9th is the last next week. Thank you. I, I have so many dates going on in my head right now, I can't remember them all. <laughs>